I need to answer this spam call. One second. Okay, great. Um, so, habitat. Ah, there we go. All right, we're going to do a large bowl there. A water trough. How do, how do I spin things left and right? There we go. And a slow feeder? Oh, 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 time out. What is a slow feed? Oh, oh, they have to... Okay. That must be, like, to give them... Oh, good to see the ostriches have somewhere they can really stretch their legs. Did you know they can actually run at 43 miles per hour? Oh, oh heaven forbid they ever escape. <laughs> the speed camera finds alone would bankrupt us. <laughs> Well, Bernie certainly seems impressed. Did he do his speed camera joke? <laughs> Every time we get an ostrich. So, now we've made the ostriches' lives a bit better, let's do the same for the keepers, shall we? To make it easier for the keepers to feed the ostriches and hippos, we should build a new keeper hut. Keeper huts are where the keepers prepare the food for animals. So they should be placed near to the habitats to make sure the keepers don't waste their time walking when they should be looking after the animals. You'll need to rotate the keeper hut to get it to connect up to the path. This keeper hut only has space for one keeper, but the larger keeper hut can allow multiple keepers to prepare food at the same time. Oh, but bear in mind that keeper huts and other staff facilities shouldn't be placed near to areas where there are lots of guests. Guests don't like seeing facility buildings and it can affect their happiness. Oh. Negatively. <laughs> In case that wasn't clear. Something that all facilities, shops, and a whole host of other objects need is power. And that obviously includes your newly built keeper hut. So let's place a transformer next to it, shall we? Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> GG. I wonder how many little Easter eggs they put in places like this. I really hope they, they put a lot. But yeah, that's fun. That's fun. Good touch. All right, what am I doing? Power the Keeper Hut. Now, the reason everything has gone blue is because you're using the power heat map. This map allows you to see what is and what isn't powered in your zoo. So once you've placed your transformer, you can click in the bottom left to turn the heat map off. Lovely work. Now the keepers can start using the hut to prepare food, and thanks to where you've put it, they won't need to walk very far to deliver it to the ostriches and hippos. Let's get on to your next objective then. Bengal tigers. We want Ooh. to adopt some, but I'm afraid there's nothing ready for them yet. Head on over to the plot of land I've marked out. It's not too far away. Shock ASU, I see him. I see him. We're good. We're good. Thank you. Whew. All right, we're fine. We're good. Righty, your next job is to build a habitat from scratch. <laughs> And concrete and glass, I expect. So, go ahead and build it. Just make sure that the habitat includes that big hole we've dug. Oh, and don't forget to add a habitat gate to the barrier. Okay. Oh, and make sure the guests will be able to see the tigers. 
Okay. All good things. Start with the habitat gate. There we go. Get that right here. Can I adjust that on the fly? No, I can't. Okay. What's up, little guy? Okay, that was pretty funny. So my wife definitely made it. So this little guy was the only thing that was on the wall just then. So I look over and I just see his face looking back, just poking through the door. Want to say hi, Kai? Can you say hi? This is Kai for everyone that hasn't met him. He's our he's our youngest. And maybe maybe he'll give you a smile today. He's still kind of overwhelmed by this whole area. He's super cute. He doesn't come up here as much as Roman did. Hi. How are you, little man? Oh, those big lights, huh? But man, he's getting bigger every day. He's pretty great. Hi. He's a big little smile. A little half smile. Okay. Mm. See you later, okay? Yeah, man. Hi, cutie. There he is. Here's that big smile. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Pretty much how that works. Yeah. Now, That's awesome. Bernie takes safety very seriously at his zoos, so we should probably <laughs> make sure those tigers can't jump out of their habitat, don't you think? Hey, the way we'll do it is by changing the height of the habitat's barrier. Okay. Okay, then. You should start by double-clicking the habitat barrier, which will take you into barrier editing mode. Uh. Great. Now, highlight the entire perimeter of the habitat. You can do that by clicking and dragging the barrier selection tool. I don't think I'm doing this right. Um... Uh, it's, it's, if I click and drag, it definitely is not selecting everything. Um, uh-oh. Oh, I clicked the, I clicked the button when clicking. Double click first. Oh, this one? Oh, thanks chat. Great. Cool. Now you've got all of the perimeter selected, you can increase the height of it by clicking and dragging the barrier height tool upwards. You'll want to make sure it reaches a height of at least 3.7 meters. Awesome. Great. Oh, you need, you need it one more? You need it one more? You get one more. No, I don't want two more. I want one more. So. Oh, 
my god! <laughs> um, one at three point six nine. Completely unacceptable. Oh jeez! Oh son of a biscuit! I regret everything. Um. Now that the habitat is in place, don't forget to put down a donation box near to your viewing areas. We need every dollar we can get. <laughs> Especially as these tigers aren't exactly eating instant noodles for lunch. I don't have a place. Well, I gotta... Oh wait, if I drag it all, then I can I do this? There we go. Does that do it? Ah! Um. Okay. Uh. Is that the glass? Um. Okay, maybe maybe I can't do this yet. Okay. Let's, let's just do what it wants me to do. Okay, I'm going to put a donation box Okay, there. that's the habitat boundary complete, the habitat gate in place, and most importantly, the tigers won't be able to jump out of it anymore. That's a plus. I think it's time we adopted those tigers. I think it's time for me to actually put some windows on here. It, it didn't ever tell me to do that, did it? Well, I guess I'll do that in a minute. Good God, they're expensive. Um. Right. Whilst our I just bought a small car. Collect and deliver the tigers. Let's take a look at preparing the habitat for their arrival. Okay. We'll start with the basics. Add a suitable feeding station for them. I'd really like to add it. Okay. Okay. We'll do what you want. We'll do what you want. Two tray lock. Okay, we're gonna put the window over here. We'll put the two thing there. This time, instead of adding a water bowl, let's try something different. Some animals need a pool in their habitat so they can go for a swim, but they can also use it to drink from. All you have to do is make sure the banks of the pool have a gentle slope so they can easily get a nice, refreshing drink. There's already a pool excavated, but you still need to fill it with water. You should do that by going into terrain and selecting the water tool. Oh. Yes, that'll do nicely. Of course, okay. just like the warthogs and ostriches, these tigers will also need some enrichment. Why don't you add some suitable toy and food enrichment items into their habitat? You know, like frozen blood pumpkins. Uh, a rubbing pad. Okay, it's really starting to take shape. Now, the tigers will need a shelter in their habitat so they can hide from the guests, or more likely the bad weather. Although given that we're in England, you might want to think of that just as normal weather. Okay, that was funny. Go on, add a shelter to their habitat. You can either build one from various suitable bits and bobs, or if you like, just pop down the blueprint that I've already built for you. I, I would like to do the bits and bobs option. Is that a... Yeah, well, I guess we have to do this now, don't we? Okay. I'm all about them bits and bobs. Kill me. Uh, we'll do it, like, there. Oh, poor Dabs. I'm sure it can't have escaped your attention that the tigers look a bit miffed. That's because they aren't too keen on the type of terrain in their habitat. Select a tiger and bring up its information panel. Hmm... Rightio, click on the terrain tab. That way you can view the terrain information and see how they feel about the different types of terrain. That'll tell you what the tigers need more of or less of in this habitat. Okay then, open the terrain editing tool, select painting, and give them some more soil. Yes, that should help with the habitat part of their welfare.
Does it matter if it's light or heavy? Uh, is this a rerun? No, this is not a rerun. Twitch is messing up today. Yeah. Right then. All animals need plants and trees from their own biome or continent. You know, deserts, savannas, or Asia, Europe, that sort of thing. It looks like these tigers need a few more plants in their habitat. To get a perfect fit, use plants from the rainforest and temperate biomes that are native to Asia. Although if you have to, you can get away with using just one or the other. The tigers will also want a certain amount of their habitat to be covered by those plants. To find out which plants to use and how many, select a tiger and go to the environment tab. Okay. Now, as you can see, some of the plants currently in the habitat aren't quite right for the tiger, like the wattle bushes. You can remove them if you want. You can find all of the plants you need in the nature section, and you can use the filters to only show the types of plants you want to see. In this case, that's plants from the rainforest or temperate biomes. Okay. Um, so I want to remove the ones that are in here, it said. I like this one, the wattle bush. Those are okay. Doesn't like this one. Not from the same continent. This one? Okay. Oh, so it also has to be on Asia. Okay. Okay. Um... Do I need to max out the plant one? Um, hmm. Yeah, we're, we're definitely live right now. Twitch, Twitch has a bug that's going around that for some reason is saying that I'm not live. But I'm live, I promise. It's currently 1 p.m. ET on November the 5th. <laughs> Where's a newspaper I can hold up? make good neighbors. I guess that's doubly true when one of the neighbors is a Bengal tiger. <laughs> Still, those tigers look so happy that I doubt they'd leave. Even if you did poke a hole in their fence. <laughs> oh, but for heaven's sake, don't test that theory. Right, let's head the over eye to of the tiger. key files. Really? I've been told that we need to improve their social welfare. Drip, drip, drip. Hey, co long time lurkers sometimes pops their head in chat. I've been going through a very dark and low point for a long time now and thought of doing some stupid things. I just want to thank you for streaming and keeping such an upbeat attitude. I can't recall how many times I've tuned into your stream to get my mind off things to just keep me occupied. From the bottom of my heart, thank you and keep up the good work. You help more people than you know. From drip, 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 drip. Good vibes to you, my dude. Um, I'm glad we can help in what small ways we can. Really appreciate your support, dude. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And good vibes to you, my dude. Osu Yushi with the five gift bomb. Thank you, man. Really appreciate that. Uh, oh, hey, is uh, Barry here? Do we have the new, is it going to say the gift bomb thing? I don't know if that's actually going to work yet. D Duke, Mystic Ryu, uh, Psycho Chris, Gosnino, Offworld, and Safe Bet, all with the three years. Uh, not so many Cad Ford, Drekken Sports, and Enkol, who just came with that. Diluette with the five gift bomb as well. Thank you so much, guys. Osuyushi with the 10, Diluet with the 5, Ken Saad also with a lot of gifts this morning. Vortex Mars, the Sub Assassin, Revan, and Koble. Really do appreciate it. Thank you, guys. 
Uh, also, I see an Arden Keystone in there. One second, you have been targeted, friendo. All right, there we go. Uh, hey, mods, can we see if Boatman's here? Do, 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 do. All right, let's go over to... Where are we going? Locate the highlighted area by clicking this button. Boom! Now then, just find one of the peafowls and select them to open an information panel. Then we can have a good gander at how they're doing. Although technically, I suppose gandering would just be for geese. Do you mean peacocks? Expand their social welfare and we can get a bit more detail. Um, okay. Peafowl. Oh, pea pea fowl is female and peacock is male. Okay, that's hilarious. Really, <laughs> that's lewd. Okay. Uh, adopt three new Indian birds. Oh, hey, boatman, do you have do you have the screen up? Okay. So real quick, boatman. Uh, we had a mod meeting recently, and boatman said he hadn't seen this yet. So I wanted to show you guys. This is like the second time I've shown it on stream. This is the the prototype of the new Letho plushie. Yeah, man. It's super soft. It's really well made. All the seams are really nice. It's got little tiny paws. It's got a little cute, it's a little cute goatee. It's got a little tiny Letho tail. But yeah, this has been basically adopted by my son, Rowan. It is one of his favorite stuffed animals now. But yeah, it's really cool. Super, super squishy. And uh, yeah, a little tiny let though. Exactly. Meow. So anyway, Bo uh, Boatman at the meeting mentioned that he hadn't seen it yet. So I just wanted to give him a look. <laughs> it can, where can we get it? You can't get it anywhere yet. It's still in the prototype phase. So um, well, I'll keep you guys posted. Yeah. But yeah, just wanted to tease that a little bit. Let you guys see how it's looking. Are the eyes attached or are they soon thread? Oh no, the eyes are actually green. It's just, it's green screen. So you can't actually see them. But yeah, they're, they're green eyes like Letho's. Crazy enough, and shout out to DBH, they actually color matched Letho's eyes. So when when you get this here, like the eyes are actually the exact same green as Letho's. Pretty awesome. Um, yeah, which turned out to be green screen eyes, apparently. Kind of wild. Um, oh. Uh, ooh. Um, mm -mm. Do 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 mm -mm -mm. There we go. Okay. So first we need to buy more sea fowls. Wait, but they're not here. Uh oh, expand social welfare. Wait, we're doing something differently. Alright, hold on. Let's do this first. Uh, now they've clearly ah. got plenty of space and they're not stressed, but it looks like their social group isn't quite right. So let's find out more. Click on the social tab at the top of their information panel to see what's wrong. Viewing glass for tigers? We're kind of in tutorial mode, so I think I missed that when I was doing the tiger thing. We'll we'll go back there later and, and get that fixed up. Right. As you can see, the peafowlers need their population to be larger. To solve this little problem, you'll need to adopt three more female peafowls. Off you pop to the animal market then. Wait, is this, in, this entire front wall is... Fowls. I expect they'll be delivered oh, nice. soon. But sadly, it sounds like our snow leopard is a bit grumpy. Let's head over there and see what's wrong with her. Mm -mm. Yep. Okay. Just like people, animals can suffer from stress if things aren't quite right. You know, like when you see someone put in the milk before the tea bag. In the case of these snow leopards, they're a bit stressed by their lack of privacy. You can lower their stress levels by swapping out the normal glass barrier by their cave for one-way glass. It's not a cheap option, but I think they're worth the expense, don't you? This will give the snow leopards somewhere to go when they want to get away from the prying eyes of the guests. 
Interesting. Okay. Of course, when an animal isn't in its natural biome, mm. it's probably going to be too hot or too cold. Unsurprisingly, for hey, the Julia. leopards, it's, it's too hot. Even with the terrible British weather, you should help cool it down by adding some coolers to their habitat. But let's start by opening up the temperature heat map and having a look-see at the temperature in the leopard's habitat. As you can see, we already have one cooler in there. Let's pop some more down and get as much of the habitat as chilly as we can. Cool. Luckily for us, this habitat already has power, but you'll need to make sure of that in the future. Just so you know, if any part of a habitat is powered, then the whole habitat will be powered. Wait, uh... Damn, are people still seeing rerun? Oh, my lord. Jeez. Okay. Maybe... Should I try... Should I do a quick restart or something? Yeah, you know what, guys? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a really quick restart. I'm just gonna turn my stream off, give it, like... 20 seconds and then turn it back on. I just, I'm, it's causing so much confusion. I don't want to do it. So I'll be back in just a second. I'm just going to turn off the stream. We're going to let it totally wrap up. And then I'm going to come in. I know some people don't see it, but some of you are. So I'll be back in just one second. Sorry about this. It'll be just a second here. All right, back in a second.